a man on a mission, a man who is willing to change the face of politics, not just in Zimbabwe, but on that. getting for being peaceful, the thank you we are getting for being law-abiding is a thank you of bullets, is a thank you of guns, is a thank you of bombs, is a thank you of grenades, is a thank you of tanks on the street, clearly indicating that our colleagues in Zanubia have panicked because they were defeated in this election. They are not confident of the citizens. This is why they can fire live ammunition on citizens who are going about doing their own things. This is a very serious issue we have to take up, not just with that, but also take up with the government and of course to take it to international platforms. So I subjected to all sorts of harassment, persecution, intimidation. In fact, just yesterday, our offices were invaded. Uh, we don't know for what reason. Of course, they wanted to take some information. The reason why probably they want to take information from us is because they wanted to try and destroy uh, the evidence that we have in terms of our power of water tabulation, which we have collected across the whole country. Unfortunately, we have our backups, so they did not uh, take everything already have that information stored, which is going to be very useful for the veracity of uh, what we are alleging. I must also underscore that most of our leaders have been visited, some have been threatened, 
are in the various provinces on a 